once Russia engages decisively on Ukraine, it's going to have to be willing to engage decisively on Finland because, um, that, you know, what's motivating the Finns and the Swedes to join isn't, uh, isn't Russia's pacifism. <laughs> it's Russia's militancy. Uh, you know, Russia's actions in Ukraine is what pushed you, uh, Finland and Sweden over, over the, you know, what had been a political red line. Um, and if Russia doubles down on Ukraine, Finland and Sweden are going to double down on, uh, on joining NATO. It may take some time to overcome Turkish and uh, Slovakian objections, but eventually the United States will bribe them. That's what we do best. We twist arms, we bribe, we cajole, and they will get a unanimous vote out of out of NATO. And um, Russia, it, it is a strategic defeat for Russia if Finland joins NATO. Once Finland joins NATO, they have Article 5 protection. That changes everything. That means now Russia would have to go. So I believe Russia would have to um, take out Finland prior to it to it receiving Article 5 protection, which means general mobilization. So for the Russians, it's a matter of mobilize now or mobilize later, but you're going to have to mobilize no matter what. And the sooner you mobilize, the sooner you can resolve what's becoming a very, very difficult problem in Ukraine. The strategic situation in Ukraine today is far different than it existed when Russia conceived the special military operation.